Evil Dead Rise. I finally got around to checking this one out. I heard pretty mixed things across the board from word of mouth, so when that happens, it's best to just watch it and form your own opinion. Movies that have rising or rise in the title tend to not be among the best, but that is besides the point. I enjoyed this movie. I'm not an insane Evil Dead fan, but I am an Evil Dead fan. That being said, I have either liked or loved most of the movies that have been released in this franchise. I believe some may find this one forgettable, but if you are to marathon the Evil Dead franchise, I don't find this one a bad entry by any means. Some will mark this up as being the worst in the franchise. I agree with that to some extent, but even if I put it on a list with it being the worst, it's still good and a solid entry. Most horror franchises usually have a stinker entry or two. This is one I wouldn't dread watching again. Hell, I'm sure I'd even enjoy watching it again. Most of this one takes place in an apartment building during a crazy storm. Not a small cabin like a lot of the others, but not every film has to take place in a small cabin. The movie revolves around a single mom taking care of her three kids living in an apartment building. And I have to say, most of the characters were pretty likable. They actually seemed like human beings. I find a lot of modern horror films, they have to have the most ridiculous over the top and unlikable characters that you're like, literally no one talks or acts like that. And then you just can't wait to see them bite the dust. This one, it kind of sucks in a way that a cool family has to suffer. The way the Deadites awaken in this movie was pretty unique. I'm sure that some will have a nitpick with that, but I didn't think it was a bad way to go about how the Deadites come to life. Usually it's a reading of the Necronomicon, but they did something just a little bit different. And while there isn't a whole lot to spoil about this movie because it is pretty straightforward, I'm going to avoid spoiling a whole lot about this movie. And that being said, I would just say that this movie doesn't play it safe when it comes to some of the deaths. Like normally writing in horror films have a conscience and they usually choose to not cross a certain line. But I felt like this movie stepped over the line, but not in a bad way. And it's not in like a cynical way. They don't exactly have a rule book, pun intended, on who they can and can't kill. By the way, there's a ton of blood in this movie. And I actually like what the modern Evil Dead films are doing with the more serious, straightforward tone than the campy, funny tone of the original trilogy, and including the Ash vs. Evil Dead series. I think they both work well in some regard. If you like the campiness and fun of the original Evil Dead trilogy, you may not like this that much. Then again, you probably didn't like the 2013 version, so Evil Dead Rise is more in the spirit of the 2013 remake. And this is one of the, I mean, honestly, this is one of the very few horror franchises that goes way back that I actually don't mind seeing new movies from. Scream, over it. Halloween, over it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, over it. New Evil Dead movie, count me in. This movie brings just enough of the familiar, but it does enough different to make it fresh and fun. It's not reinventing the wheel by any means, but we're not exactly asking for Citizen Kane of horror here ton of blood, chainsaws, brutal deaths, and deadites up to no good, then you have a decent movie on your hands I'll gladly watch. If you like any Evil Dead movie, I suggest checking it out. Old fans may be divided due to the lack of campiness and no Ash Williams, but if you are a fan of the 2013 Evil Dead, you'll enjoy this one, so check it out regardless.